Okay, this is a GG&T update on world's best water filter setup. And basically this is just a uh, three month, might be four month update. I forget exactly what day I put this in. I remember it was somewhere around January. And we're about in April now. So um, today's date here is uh, April 13th and this is 2019. I just thought it might be a good idea to put an update in here so somebody can see how these filters progress. Uh, last update, they were all clean. Like I said, I just remember doing it about January uh, 2019. But anyway, it's just a little review. Um, I've got a major, well not major, but it's a rather long uh, filter thing on this channel on how to set this up, but I'm not going to go into all that. But if you are just catching this for some reason, Basically the setup here is a 50 micron to a 5 micron to a 1 micron absolute, that's what the ABS is for, and then I have a 0.35 micron behind, and then later on it even repeats as a catch for the car run is another 1 micron absolute, basically I had two so I may as well use it. And uh, touching briefly, one of the best things you can get out of these clear housings, because it just totally lets you see what you have going on, the, uh, the way these kind of progressed is these two got dirty first the five micron over here and then the one micron absolute there this one is kind of a nice little insurance policy and it, it since it stays nice and snow white like that you know that these three are catching all the sediments so that one's kind of just basically a fail safe backup um, if i honestly had this to do over again next time around the only spot that really gets dirty is the heavy sediment here and uh I think I'd probably be better served by going with a 20 because there's not enough really hammering this 50 micron I'm on city water so I think a 20 micron would be a better fit here because I basically just wanted to not have the 5 micron the first filter to get hit because it could clog up a little bit easier but these two are supposed to be washable at least the watts is I don't know if Neopure says that or not but I don't want to make this a really long-winded thing, so I don't want to repeat myself on a lot of the original stuff, but I encourage anybody who's just watching this to go back and watch the main video. I think it was called the world's best water filter or something with the camera turned sideways. Um, and uh, this one, here's the status of the other guy. It's also really, really white. Um, I mean, I don't know how this is going to come across on the paper, but it, it's... Well, you can see the PVC is a little contrast there. So, I mean, it's the same PVC. I mean, it basically looks like a brand new filter put in. And uh, one thing I think I forgot to mention in the um, uh, original video is that uh, 0.35 micron and 1 micron, you actually get to the point where I wouldn't recommend it for sterilizing your water, but you can actually start trapping bacteria and viruses around the 1 micron level and one third of a micron but since it's kind of a nominal filter you don't want to bet your life on it or anything like that uh, for that you would want more like a UV light which is down there too but it's kind of nice because it gives you a little bit of peace of mind that maybe you're you know you when you're filtering down to the point of getting bacteria it doesn't get much better than that so but this is the point of the one micron absolute is you're starting to pick this up if this was just a regular one micron that filter would be dirty too because this is the one that filters out the water the tightest out of all these other filters and then I even put a repeating one micron absolute down here just because I had it laying around I may as well use it up but this is what it does is it protects this very last super fine filter that maybe it's trapping things we can't see I don't know but anyways um, I wish I could kind of tell you the usage that we have but typical household I take super long showers and uh, we actually water a lot of plants with this water because it does pretty well for it uh, right now we're doing avocado plants and blueberries which is kind of a different thing but if you're into growing those they really thrive with super clean water so you might want to check that out too but anyways um, wish everybody good luck don't want to make this any longer than it probably already has run Maybe I'll do another one in six months so you can kind of see how these filters progress. This is three, four months usage. Okay, see you guys later. Have a good system. And I, I think it's extremely important in today's world for health too. So, um, just last once over here. 
uh, 50 micron, 5 micron, 1 micron absolute, 0 0.35 micron goes into a carbon filter here, then some weird salt-free softener thingamajiggy, um, and then I put this in as a double check because it was catching some carbon fines, which now you can tell all that's calmed down and that stayed nice and white. Then after that, it goes into a Trojan Max and then back up into the house and the hot water heater. So it truly is whole house, every faucet, every everything, and it is awesome water. So I encourage anybody to do this. Oh, magnet thing? Meh, I don't know. Uh, make up your own mind, but it hasn't hurt anything. I don't plug it up with iron, which is what I was kind of curious about. This is a removable piece I've taken out and I've looked in there and nothing comes out. So who the hell knows? Okay, good luck, guys.